In this video, we will go over the process of how to section a rat brain using a vibratome. Vibratome, or vibrating microtome, is an instrument that can cut extremely thin sections of tissue with high precision and accuracy by using a vibrating razor blade. Smooth brain sections of precise dimensions produced by this vibratome are crucial to the success of subsequent experiments involving immunohistochemistry and electrophysiology. This video will take you through the steps of tissue preparation and instrument operation. Generally, the first step is making the agarose that the brain will be embedded in for sectioning. We use low melt agarose and dilute it to 2% in 1 times PBS. Make sure to mix and heat in the microwave to homogenize. Next, we are going to fill up the well plates used to hold and store the brain tissue with 0.01% sodium azide and 1 times PBS. Now, the azide is to help preserve the brain tissue until they are used in downstream experiments. Now, to prepare the brain tissue for mounting, we cut off the cerebellum from the brain. This is a very important step because it creates a flat edge that can be used for mounting, so ensure a straight and precise cut. Then transfer the brain to the center of the stage with a drop of superglue in order to securely fasten it to the stage. Once the superglue has dried and the brain is securely attached to the metal stage, we are going to embed the brain in agarose, which helps guide the blade through the tissue, ensuring precise and smooth cuts. Using the transfer pipette method, as seen here, we first surround the brain in agarose, allow that to solidify, and then drip the agarose on top of the brain, letting gravity bring the agarose down to cover the entire tissue. Transfer the tray to the stage and secure the tray in place by flipping the lever to the right-hand side. Attach a feather blade to the blade holder and use an Allen key to tighten it into place before attaching the holder to the machine. And next, we're going to adjust the settings on the machine to fit the ideal parameters we're looking for. First, we'll take a look at the slice thickness, which can be adjusted using the plus and minus buttons as shown here. And for our protocol, we use 50 micrometer thick slices. To change the speed at which the blade advances, twist the knob in the top left corner, which has settings between 0 and 8. Optimal speed for sectioning is tissue dependent, but it is typ typically in the range of 2 to 5. It's okay to start at a faster speed, but if you notice small tears or ripples in the tissue as you're sectioning, turn that speed down. This knob here controls the frequency of vibration of the blade. We keep this setting around 9. Next, to set up our sectioning window, we can start by using the forward and reverse levers to adjust the position of the blade on the horizontal plane. Then to adjust the position of the tray on the vertical plane, we use the up and down levers. We want to begin with the blade position slightly above the tissue on the vertical plane. To set start cutting parameters on the horizontal plane, move the blade forward to about 5 millimeters away from the tissue and press the double arrow button. To set the finishing cut parameter, move the blade past the edge of the tissue with a clearance of about 5 millimeters and press the double arrow button again. And once the cut window is set, we have two options for our sectioning. The first is to use the single cut setting by pressing that button followed by the start button. Or we can also use a continuous cut setting, which is shown by pressing that same button again and then the start button. Now once the machine is set, we will fill the tray full with cold 1 times PBS, surround the tray with ice, and press start. We use a fine paintbrush to transfer the slices from the tray into the well plates. And to keep everything organized for subsequent experiments, slices are transferred in a series of 12, hence why we use the 12 well plates. To clarify, this is where we transfer slices one at a time in order from well 1 to well 2 to well 3, all the way until well 12, and then start over again. This way, each well contains an equal number of representative samples from throughout the brain. To organize our plates, we typically keep hippocampal slices and prefrontal cortex slices in different well plates.
Now once we've essentially reached the base of the brain tissue and there's no more sections to be harvested, you can go ahead and turn off the machine by pressing the stop button and begin the disassembly. We'll finish off by covering our well plates in parafilm and place them in the four degree fridge for storage.